Hi everyone. I took that route on purpose to go to the end of that road to show you how open and wide, just wide open it is because this parcel right here kind of has all of that openness so anyone that goes that way and starts heading back this way is going to be staring at this parcel for quite some time and then a couple of these other parcels here too where you can see it's just wide open. But you can see how the route kind of goes out and then these two roads end up coming back together. The five mediums are going to be just over that hill. This hill is something that you can't see when you're looking at the 2D map. So coming in here in here in VR, you look at that medium parcel at the very top of the hill versus a medium parcel right here. Both can go 25 meters high from the ground level. So the higher ground level, pretty cool. So this is a small. This one's already sold. Um, most of them going down this way. Every single one of them on the right-hand side here is for sale, and most of them on the left-hand side as well. I'm going to cruise here and show you guys all these parcels. So let me just come over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These parcels are pretty big when you're in VR. It takes a while to get from one side to another. And then when you go up 25 or 50 meters high and start looking out over the water, the views are beautiful. So this is pretty cool too here. If you put a flat object straight across here, you would be able to kind of go under it and have a little secret tunnel under here if you wanted to. But building on these hills are really cool and interesting. This one, look at this parcel right here, just on a complete hill right here. Pretty cool. Oh, and then be careful of uh, when there's an extra large parcel on this side and you're looking at a medium on this side, just realize that you can only go 25 meters high and the XL can go 50 meters high. So unless they build something transparent or something with, you know, things for you to see through, then sometimes it might be difficult for you to have good views if they build right next to you. But this all opens up right here. I think this is strategic from Somnium Space because you can see there's nothing here all of those parcels are on that side of the road. They might as well be on this side of the road because there is nothing blocking them. They're on a huge hill. You can see everything from here. This is just awesome parcels. Let me come over here and see if there's anything down here that could possibly block it too. But you're already 25 meters lower. So these three parcels right here could have a little bit. Okay, so all of these parcels going down on this hill. Look at how steep this hill is. Just have beautiful views of everything great parcels and then look at that parcel right down there that's an awesome parcel whoever has that one and when you're coming over here and you're going up this hill you have to use this teleport button probably because that's a pretty steep hill this looks almost like a platform this looks like a a golf tee <laughs> like here we go Yes, I'm a bit of a golfer. I got into VR myself from understanding real estate and I got an IT degree with a focus of web design and database administration which brought me to Bitcoin and then Ethereum and then ERC20 tokens and then ERC721 tokens which we're looking at right here. All of these land parcels are ERC721 tokens on the Ethereum blockchain also known as NFTs which are non-fungible tokens fungible tokens you exchange like if you and I exchange one Bitcoin each we would both end up with the same thing but if you and I exchange one non-fungible token like a land parcel that one for this one a medium is not equal to another medium so there's added criteria for an NFT non-fungible token all kinds of uh, assets that you're going to have digital assets on the blockchain so let's get up on top of this this one's owned by somebody they already have a platform up here all of these parcels down the left hand side of this road are for sale. 90% of the ones on the right are for sale as well. Pretty cool. Like I said, all of this open view right here. So nothing obstructing. This is what you're going to have. This person's only built something, what, two meters high? Plus I'm two meters, so my eyesight is four meters high. That parcel down there, strategic again, you can tell because it can go 25 meters high. I think it looks like a medium from here. But this one can go way higher, plus the hill. You're just This is just an awesome parcel. You can tell why somebody got this early. This one was already taken early on, so uh, you can just tell. This is just a great parcel. And as they start going down the hill, and then they start getting blocked by the ones in front of them. But again, they're not completely blocked. 
there's a, there's a lot of space between each of them and you know not everyone is going to be building right away so um, don't feel like you're going to be blocked immediately and like they're a completely worthless parcel you just don't know what's going to be in front of you look at these other things right here you can see right over them so um, and especially like I said when you're looking at the map and you look at this hill right here you can see the huge hill you can't see this hill on the map so if you just look at a medium next to an XL you might think you're going to be having completely blocked views but when you're up on these hills you actually have some amazing views so that one right there is going to be the ultimate idea of what it would be like to be blocked by one of these parcels if you're just looking at it it looks like a cube it doesn't look like you can see through it and I want to get behind one of those parcels when we're over there to show you and see how much it actually is blocking your view because you can still see to the left of it and the right of it even if there was a huge tower right here you would still have great views on both sides with these parcels this person chose to only build you know something that's completely transparent where you can see through it but again these parcels up on this hill are so cool and then if you put so if you're in the builder and you just put a flat object right here you're gonna have all that space underneath it so you're gonna to have to build something interesting on this and I kind of like it or if you just built it with this so it looked like a leaning house or something <sighs> Alright, up and over these hills. I actually didn't even realize these hills were here until I'm actually in here right now. I haven't been over to this side in VR. This is a pretty long walk, but once you get over here and you see these hills, this is valuable information for every single parcel. They're all so different up and over these hills. If you want, maybe you don't even want to build on one of those parcels. So again, that's blocking your view of right there to there, but that's it. The rest of it is wide open and there's no other parcels right here that doesn't look like it's going to get much bigger you can still see through some views over here and look at those views down that way and we already saw there's no parcels just over that hill down by the water right there so this is good clean views that way right through the middle here looks good to me these parcels are awesome just because you're not right next to the city center doesn't mean you can't get one of these parcels in virtual reality so we're going all the way around and I missed the estate. Let's go back to the estate. Okay, it's not an estate, it's not a bundle. You have to buy these individually, but look at, they're up on the hill. This is so strategic. Stuff you don't even notice when you're just looking at the map. You gotta get in here in VR and people are spending thousands of dollars on these parcels and they're not even coming to look at them. Never mind build on them. They're just buying them because they're on the map. Somnium Space is doing crazy stuff right now. Wow, look at the views from here. This is 2 meters high. This goes up 25 meters. These parcels, man. I'm pretty sure if you buy all five of them, though, or even if you buy a few of them, as long as they're adjacent to each other, they will connect. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4 seconds. The medium is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's almost 50% more. Really? 1, 2 three four okay maybe three seconds but you know less than 50 percent more but quite a bit of extra space i'm still going across all five of these parcels right now just crazy views so again if they put this tower right here you still have all the views directly to the left of that from here all the views directly to the right so all of that you still have beautiful views even if they completely block you with a cube right there but these parcels, there's quite a bit of space here. And again, more hill. So the height, there's at least five, almost maybe even 10 meters of height difference from there to here, just on the ground level. So you got 10 meters higher, even though they're both mediums, unless there happens to be one XL over here right in front of you. But that is an awesome estate if you can get all five of those looking straight over the water. I think it's one of the very few estates. I know it's the only one in this circle. There might be another three parcel, but it's the biggest estate in this whole area down here in the um, southeast quadrant. Just staring at these this water and the, these views are just amazing. And people are building some cool stuff. So when you come in here and you see this glowing you might think oh i could do that maybe in a different color maybe in a triangle instead of a square and you start kind of building off of what other people have already built you get new ideas because of what someone over here did and someone over here you see four or five different builds you mash it up in your head a little bit and you plop onto the builder whatever you 
end up plopping onto the builder. Sometimes we have, you know, really high expectations of what we're about to build and um, doesn't come out that way. But <laughs> the builder's really easy to use. You can uh, move objects, you can cling objects together. So if you have two squares just like this, you clink them together uh, and then you can move it up and around from there. You can bring in YouTube videos and post them on the wall. You can bring in NFTs from the Ethereum blockchain. Pretty soon you're gonna be able to copy and paste that whole thing and sell it as an NFT on the Ethereum blockchain. Cool stuff happening. If you check out the you know social media and everything from Somnium Space, they're always talking. And um, Arthur is always in here in Somnium Space at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time doing a meetup with whoever wants to come. He talks about the latest and greatest going on in Somnium Space. He always likes to give us a little bit of a secret or a look ahead of what's going on because we came in and saw him in VR so he's very open he's always here he's here for everybody so look at these XL parcels now so you can tell that Somnium has kind of like gotten away from that center so smaller parcels in the front almost like a um, stadium seating and now you're a tiny bit further back from the water so it looks like you know all oh, the views are a little bit blocked from two meters high the mediums go 25 meters high. The XLs, look at how big this parcel is, going 50 meters high. And I haven't seen any XLs down there, but again, still pretty transparent views through this whole section here. And when you get up as high as that building, up on top of that, right here, and looking down on the water, you're going to have just amazing views. And you see the sunlight uh, going down. That's how Somnium operates. When you're in here for a long period of time, it's daylight and then it turns into nighttime. So you have moonlight after that. So you can make your neon objects and everything shiny and all of that for nighttime. You know, just like Vegas. If you've ever showed up to Las Vegas during the day, you're kind of like, oh, this is Vegas. But then at nighttime, you know, all the people come out, all the lights come on. You can set it up both ways too. So um, a lot of times people don't take their Christmas lights down during the winter after Christmas. They just leave the lights there and don't turn them on. So you can do that here too. You can have neon objects that aren't on until nighttime. They don't shine until nighttime, but they're there. You just don't notice it. Pretty cool. So we're down to all this, this huge estate coming. I'm sure at some point in the SLO, all of this is gonna be available too. This a bunch of XLs going this way, I think 8 to 10 of them, all 50 meters high, all connected, all looking straight down over here. So great parcels this week. And then again, look at all the open space from these parcels right here. All this open space. I can't stress enough how important this open space is because when you're in a group of people and you're all standing here and three of the people are looking this way and three are looking this way you have all of these parcels right here that you're just staring at so whatever's built on them you see them there's nothing in between it's not all filled with more parcels that are going to be built up in front of it you're going to see all of this so um, those parcels have great views with no obstructions all the way down to the water these are awesome parcels so much open room so many good views and when you're here you can see it all so all road parcels not only road parcels great water views great parcels this week good luck everybody